Hi everyone and welcome to Writing Dialogue. Today we're going to be looking at our friends, the quotation marks. When to make a new paragraph. Uh, so many of you have noticed new paragraphs are made when there is a new speaker. This is what we call dialogue, when people are speaking. Generally, die meaning two or more people are speaking together, or a new paragraph is used uh, to show a new time, a new thought, an idea, a character, or a change in setting. Uh, Ray Bradbury, author of Fahrenheit 451, and um, author of All Summer in a Day, that video clip that you guys had watched to analyze theme back in second quarter. Uh, he suggested to think of paragraphs like scenes in a movie. Every time the camera cuts to a new angle, consider that a new paragraph. Dialogue, conversation between two or more people um, featured in a book, a play, or a movie. Dialogue is represented in literature by quotation marks to show that somebody is speaking. Purpose of dialogue. Keep in mind, dialogue is there for a reason. Too often I see narratives uh, that look a little like this. Hey, dude, Johnny said. Hi, what's up? How are you? Jake said. I'm good. That's good, he said. What are you doing tonight? I'm not sure. And just like a full page of a meaningless conversation that you could have summed up in one sentence. Johnny and Jake saw each other for the first time in a week and took 10 minutes to catch up, period. <laughs> uh, instead of filling up an entire page of, of useless dialogue, make sure that it has a purpose. Here are three general purposes of dialogue. Dialogue reveals aspects about the character. Uh, so this would be that indirect characterization, right? When we looked at steel, what does the character say that tells us something about who they are. Uh, dialogue moves the plot forward. Of we learn something. On your plot diagram, a new event has been revealed to us. Or it's used to create tension and create suspense. Like in my story, the climax of my story is when the granddaughter says, is there anything else, anything else that you want to share? Uh, I'm using that quotation to kind of bring us to the very moment of internal conflict when he's given his last and final chance to speak. So, reveals aspects about the character, moves the plot forward, used to create tension or suspense. Rules. Every time a new or a different person speaks, there must be a new paragraph. I'm sure you have noticed that dialogue um, I have the word must here, but I could change that to usually. Dialogue usually has a tag. Um, dialogue must have a tag or be obvious that the conversation is moving back and forth between characters. Uh, some of you noted, especially uh, in some of your book club books, that sometimes it's confusing. I just finished reading Lord of the Flies, and I think it's on purpose to create confusion, but the author does not really tell us who is speaking. And sometimes when there's multiple people, I see the dialogue, like there's quotations here to show uh, that different people are speaking. I see the paragraphs, I see the quotation marks, but if there's no dialogue tag, I sometimes have to go back and reread and say, okay, who said that, who said that, who said that? Um, and that can be confusing. So remember that you also use punctuation to lessen the confusion. Dialogue should have punctuation, and usually this comes inside the quotation marks. Usually. Here are some ideas for dialogue tags. He asked, he thought, he replied, she wondered, she clarified, I shouted, I accused, we whispered. Uh, if you click on this link, there's actually a list of like 200 50 different tags you could use. Um, and there is an, a note of caution with that of use rare tags sparingly so you don't sound over dramatic with every single piece of dialogue. It is appropriate sometimes to use the word said or stated uh, as a dialogue tag so we're not just being pummeled with all of these <laughs> dramatic uh, words. Some examples. Uh, this was a book that I used to read with my students 
Um, here are some examples that you have. Replied coach. She said. He replied. I use this one because you can see the dialogue tag for reply. It's at the end. It's better not to fight her, Mr. Fisk. I learned that early on, replied coach. Mr. Fisk's rosy cheeks turned a pale green as he replied, comma, quote, this boy isn't a minority. Uh, so you'll notice here we have comma, quote, and then the tag where it says early on and then replied. And here he said, as he replied, comma, quote. Comma, quote seems to be uh, a good rule of thumb to kind of abide by as you are trying to think of punctuation in your dialogue. Here we have Jennifer said patiently. So that gives you sort of this generic word said, but then there's a descriptor of how she said it. She said it patiently. Insisted Jennifer. Harrison sighed. I guess so. Stated, comma, quote, comma, quote, he whispered. Adding the punctuation. If you wrote paragraphs without indentations, without dialogue, it would look something like this. Just everything is together. Then uh, I have now moved from adding the punctuation to a full paragraph here with punctuation, with quotation marks. Um, you'll see I also used italics here. Italics are great for tough questions. When the character is asking themselves a question, it's personal. Um, italics are really good to indicate personal thoughts that are not necessarily put into the dialogue. Uh, so here we have Grandpa Speaks. He is the main character, so I don't put a tag there because it's in first person. I feel like it's implied. The granddaughter asks. I have the tag here for she questioned. Notice the lowercase s here after the quotation mark because she questioned is still part of the sentence. So I do not need a capital S there. Um, here I end and say I pause and shrug where pausing and shrugging is not a way he says something, so it's not a dialogue tag. It's just a follow-up sentence uh, that fits into the I same idea as what is in quotation marks as the dialogue there. So remember, paragraphs are used when there's a change in speaker, like dialogue, when there's a change in time or place, like setting, or when there is a change in action, something along the plot. How many ways are there to write dialogue? Lots of them. I thought of seven different ways here and gave you examples. Uh, a statement with a dialogue tag at the beginning, dialogue tag at the end, an interrupter, exclamation points, question marks, uh, and sentences that are not necessarily dialogue tags. Please take a look at this because I'm going to be asking you for some examples on the next slide. I won't go through them all, but I would like you to pause the video and go ahead and just read through the seven different examples now. Things you should notice. These are wrong examples. Um, very common mistakes, especially when using question marks and exclamation points. I see a lot of periods at the end, which would be an incorrect way to write dialogue. If you're having any questions or problems with dialogue, literally open up your book and say, oh, how can I write something with a question mark again? Literally, the first piece of dialogue I looked at has a question mark. Um, and I just opened to a random page. So it is likely that within about 30 seconds or less, and 30 seconds is being pretty generous, you'll be able to find an example in your own book of what you are trying to write in your own dialogue. So you should have an example right in front of you of how to write it. Now you try it. I'm going to ask you to write uh, a punctuated sentence from your own story seven different ways. Now you're going to apply it. Congratulations on finishing our friends the quotation marks. Please take a look at your own narrative. Check to make sure first that all of your dialogue has purpose. Remember the three purposes. Reveals aspects about the character, so that's characterization, like steal what they say. Moves the plot forward, like your plot diagram, or used to create tension and suspense, which may often happen at the inciting incident or at the climax. 
look at all the places you've included dialogue so far, fix any sentences that need to be fixed, and keep in mind how to write dialogue as we move forward in your narratives. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.